Hi, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. This is a podcast brought to you by SMS Law, going through the legal secrets that will benefit you and your clients, as well as having a little bit of fun as we go. This podcast is designed to educate you on, number one, complicated legal terms that we will explain in an easy to understand manner, two, to understand why you do things from a legal perspective in your business, and three, to help you develop a plan for the future success of your business. Our mission is to help empower small to medium-sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Did you know that any business owner is on average seven months away from losing everything? That is the average time that it takes from a successful business to fold when an aspect of their business is not set up correctly. This podcast is all about empowering you and your business with knowledge and tools to ensure that that doesn't happen to you or to your clients. Let's begin, shall we? Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. Uh, my name is Craig Mason from SMS Law. I have with me the other director, Jeremy Stratton. Say hello to everyone, please, Jeremy. Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a super day. Super duper. Cool. So uh, at the moment, uh, for today's show, we want to talk about leases. Uh, so as a business, uh, entering into a lease is a pretty big step if you're starting up or moving or whatever it might be. Uh, and there's certain things that you need to consider before you enter into the actual lease. So before you actually sign it is uh, when you should be getting this advice and talking uh, through these sorts of considerations. So we've come up with seven as always, this is not an exhaustive uh, list. There are many others that you uh, need to consider. Uh, but the first one, Jeremy, is about uh, what? One of the most important ones and uh, rent. Yeah, well, it's a, one that people think about first. Uh, so rental consideration. What are you going to pay for the lease? How much is your rent? How much is, um, it, you know, how, how much is that rent, that base rent going to be? You want to make sure that you're really clear about that um, and to make sure that the business can afford to pay it. So uh, both things need are, are important and um, you want to make sure you get fair market rent that the business can afford at the end of the day. So that's the first one is um, what rent are you going to pay? Uh, and the second one, which sort of flows into the amount of rent, is uh, the security deposit. How much, uh, for instance, which is, as I said, tied back to the rent, uh, and whether or not you can afford that uh, security deposit when you're leasing the property. So think about that, uh, how it can be paid uh, as a bank guarantee, bond, etc. Look into the options to, to suit uh, what... Um, what you can do and what uh, best fits with with you. So important to look at the security deposit, how it can be paid, and how much. Uh, the next one, Jeremy, about the actual term. Yeah. So how long is the lease? Uh, is it a three-year lease? Is it a one-year lease? Is it a ten-year lease? Uh, and what options are there? Because if you're entering into a lease, uh, the longer that you have uh, secured with the lease. Uh, the less likely the landlord can actually stop you from taking a lease, unless you're in breach of lease. But if you want to stay there for 10 years, then you might want to sign a, a, le a, a lease that's five by five, so f a five-year initial term and a five-year option. Or you might want to sign three three-year options, uh, sorry, three a three-year initial term and two three-year options, and that takes you up to nine years. So thinking that through, uh, obviously as a business owner, uh, you want to have a shorter lease so that you don't have the liability for as long, but also make sure that you've, you maintain the premises where you want to stay. Uh, so you've got to figure out what actually works for you and what's commercial in that regard. So that's the lease term. Craig, number four. Uh, number four is about outgoings and uh, looking at how much it is, what it includes, uh, how it's calculated, when it's paid, all those sorts of things. It's important to look at. Uh, it sort of flows with the rental considerations. This is the amount of money that you might have to pay for the outgoings. Uh, so you make sure when you're doing your budgeting that you can afford uh, the lease that uh, you've looked at the outgoings and what you're up for for the lease uh, when you're talking dollars. So important to look at the outgoings. Uh, so that's probably the last of the uh, sort of main ones. Jeremy, what's uh, the fifth one about um, for today? Yeah, so the fifth one is um, about assignment and subleasing. So you want to have the ability to be able to assign the lease and potentially sublet the lease uh, to uh, the premises to someone else. Uh, a lot of leases have a procedure in there where you've got to get the consent of the landlord to be able to do that. Uh, I just think it's really important that you make sure that's in there uh, because whilst it might not be in your plan to sell the business or to lease out your premises to someone else or sublet part of the premises to someone else, you want to have the ability to do that just in case your business circumstances change in the future. So 
say that's a really important one that's often missed. What about number six, Craig? Yeah, absolutely. Um, flexibility with the assignment and subleasing is important. But the sixth one uh, is maintenance and repairs. So who's responsible for what, how often, etc. So, um, you know, in some leases, you're good, the tenant's responsible for certain things, the air conditioning, for instance, and other times they're not. So important to, to look at what you're responsible for, how often is it, onerous uh, and something you don't want to agree to, now's the time to look at that and adjust it accordingly uh, before you sign the lease, because once you sign it, very difficult to uh, change things for obvious reasons. So uh, the last one, Jeremy, uh, is sort of thinking about the end of it all if, uh, if it comes up. Yeah, so the last one is what happens at the end of the lease. So are you required to pull any fit out that's in the property out? Are you you're, you know, are you required to paint the premises? Like what are your obligations at the end of the lease? Every lease is slightly different. Uh, and you know, usually it depends on what you took over when you when you moved into the premises as to what you've got to give back. So if it was an empty shell, and usually you've got to give an empty shell back. If it was a fitted out office, usually the landlord would keep that that. Um, that um, fit out. So you've got to, got to be careful and make sure that that's properly defined because that's another thing as you know, a bit like with the assignment and subleasing. People aren't thinking about that often when they're entering into a lease but it is something that does come up and can cause problems down the track especially uh, if there's a cost that someone's going to incur uh, then they're going to definitely look at what the lease says. So best to think about that before you enter the lease to make sure that it's all, all okay. So that's our seven um, considerations before you enter a lease, Craig. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, exciting time entering the lease, but definitely some things to, to consider. So uh, if you uh, liked today's show or any of our other shows, please uh, jump on and rate and review uh, the uh, podcast uh, to get that, uh, get that out there so other people can uh, join this community. Uh, we welcome any questions or, or comments as well. So get in contact uh, with us through uh, Facebook by liking the SMS Law Facebook page, following us on Twitter or connecting uh, through LinkedIn. Uh, we do uh, release other information and important facts uh, through those platforms as well throughout the week. So I uh, hope you enjoyed today's show about uh, considerations for lease and we'll uh, see you next time. See you.